members as opposed to 21. Raise your hand. see them on the avenue, they have promised and they've kept their promise. Those who I know, who have come to know, casually really, they have not gone on the soccer field. There are approximately four bad apples who do, and they do not care about the law, about us, or about anything. I'm not going to mention names, we've stayed away from that. One of them is even engaged in some of this dumping. We know it. We're going to work up, I've talked to Lou and some people about trying to work up a reward. I spoke to someone the other day. We've all, we've, people have been expressing concern about the motorcycles, that they make a lot of noise at night when they're leaving. They have not been a problem when they're here but for the people who live on the avenue or the courts where they pass by at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. in the morning, they're complaining. I talked to Bob at Amici, who also happened to tell me that the person who did the dumping was trying to work that into a funnel. And in Amici's case, people have asked about the outdoor tables. And I'm going to tell you, we're a community, we know each other, and there, there are no secrets in this town, or it is like a town. Uh, I asked him that last week some people complained about the uh, sidewalks being full with outdoor tables. He does have outdoor tables. And when I asked him about it, he said, it cost me $7,000 a year for a city permit, 9000 next year, and $150 for a fine. Who's going to go down and pay $7,000 if you're only going to get fined $150 for putting your tables out there? So th these, are, these are little things that, you know, we keep learning. What? I think it was either Wednesday or Thursday night we came home. It must have been around 10.30 or 11 o'clock. Thank you. 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 Can I cut you off, please, before okay. I lose my 25 people? Okay. We still need to vote on the Troop PAC 396 $250 donation that we give every year to the Cup Scouts Blue and Gold. Okay. Making the motion? You, that's what we gave them last year, $250. All favor? Hey, 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 hey. All in favor? Anybody opposed? Hey, get your call on. Thank you. And the August one. Okay, back to guys. Uh, Anthony. Just one thing about the, I heard you talking about the tables outside. Uh, a couple of things came into the office. They are, they are really breaking down on that sidewalk cafe, because that's what they call it, with the tables outside. What, this, what the Department of Consumer Affairs, not the health department, not the other guys, what they've been doing is going after these places 
fining them at $2,500 and shutting them down. In other words, shutting them down, it's all according to the offenses, how many they have. If you have two, they can close you up to 30 days. So, I don't know if he's in favor of the, uh, the, uh, the sidewalk cafe or not, but that's the way you would look to go if you wanted to, if that was a problem. You would go to the Department of Consumer Affairs. And does he have a cash flow scale with uh, the increasing income as well? I know Terry used to get a... Uh, go through the... But I'm talking about operating without it. You're right. saying that they're operating without the permit. Right, but I think the police have been empowered to do that as well. And there's a task force... No, the Department of Consumer Affairs. The Department of Consumer Affairs. Well, no. The Consumer Affairs is empowered to do it. It used to be the other way for Consumer Affairs enforcement. Now the cops can do it. But what happens is that they cannot close them down. The Department of Consumer right. Affairs... It has to be there. Right. 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 That's something that really is not to enforce. But you have gotten calls at your office about it. Not that, no. But other, other locations where they have gotten summonses, the uh, the cafes, and they shut them down. They actually shut them down for three. One guy three days, one guy two weeks. They shut them down, but they close them down for 30 days. And nobody wants to do that because you're not the people who are you know, right in business. So either they move the table, if the community is in favor of moving the table, they have their choice. So, Problem the consumer affairs. The complaint is the noise of the motorcycles, but you know, what are you going to do? It's a business. Uh, I think his rule is you have to be 30 or over to uh, drink there. There has not been one single problem that I know of. Uh, all right. Fifty, fifty, fifty. Sorry. Kevin Howard. 